huge thank you goes out to Akrama Tool, Nicola Pro, and Daniel Jelling supporting this channel at the all electric tier. Click the link down below and support this channel for as little as a dollar a month. If you remember from my last video, I decided to remove this section of the Curvy Country Road Test and give it something a little bit more challenging. So here is the beginning of the new section. And if you wanna see the first test on the new section, go back one video to test number 13. And there'll be some clips from that video here in this one on the harder curves. So you can see here, this road is a lot more narrow and a lot more curvy to start with. Also, the sun is not helping us out here, but here comes our first curve. And look at the speed limit. It's slowing down significantly, making this turn a lot more manageable for the autopilot to handle. A great turn there and really smooth. Let's take a look at the last test and the autopilot did the exact same thing, slowing down to almost the exact mile per hour really impressive again we are running 2020.12.5 the exact same software update that we ran in our last curvy country road test number 13 and if you haven't seen that i'll put a card up in here in the corner so you can watch the entire playlist another right bend in the road here and it does a great job slowing down a little bit and then getting ready for the curve now here comes our most significant curve in this entire test and it does fail again. So it gets a little bit too close to that right side for me. And the same thing happened in the test number 14, where it got a little bit too close to that right hand side that is a pretty severe curve there. So really challenging for the autopilot, not to mention there is limited road markings because of the poor road condition there. Traveling down this section of road, it is pretty straight. There is not that many curves and the autopilot is doing a phenomenal job. Coming up to a blind hill crest, like I said in my last video, I would like the autopilot to almost slow down here a little bit, but it's still able to handle that section and this right curve without any disengagement. Really great job. You can see how the autopilot's able to maintain lane position even though this road is pretty tight. We have a left bend in the road here and it does a great job. Nice work by the autopilot team. You can see that this autopilot system is so advanced Another pretty severe left curve coming up here, and we do have to take over. Did get way too close to that right side of the road. Now let's take a look at test number 14, and it looks like we did have to do about the same thing, and it failed at about the same spot. So that has to do with the severity of that curve, I think. Autopilot's not slowing down significantly enough. So here we are approaching our little stop sign and we'll use the scroll wheels to manually slow down because 2020.12.5 does not stop at stop signs yet. So now we are back on the normal section of the curvy country road test that you are all used to and we are approaching a little town and the autopilot is going to slow down automatically as it gets to these specific points as we enter the town. You can see here at the little fork in the road that we're coming up to, I put my right turn signal on to try and get the car to move over or transition that fork, but I do have to disengage there. And then I re-engage autopilot right there at the end of the fork where it merges onto this road and it will allow me to re-engage autopilot midway through that merge. So pretty interesting there. So now that we're coming up to the town, there is a railroad crossing. Now I want you to pay close attention to what happens when we get to this railroad crossing. There's two things that I wanna point out. First, it's identifying that there is a stopping point. You can see the horizontal line on the center display. The next thing you can see that autopilot isn't confident here and wants me to have my hands on the wheel. It's almost like it doesn't know which direction the road is going in. And there'll be a couple more instances in this test that I will point out to you. So as we finish going through the town, we do come up to a stop sign that I do have to take over on before we get to one of the more severe curves on this test. So here it is in slow motion. We are in autopilot, hugging the right side of the road. It looks like it's doing really good right here until we start to drift over to the left-hand side and I do end up taking over and having to disengage because it's gonna drift over. 
Here is test number 14 running the same software and it's doing the exact same thing where it starts to drift over to the left hand side before take over immediately. So I let it go a little bit further there and I let it go a little bit further in test number 13 as well where I got the same warning take over immediately. So still some work there needed by the autopilot team. Now here we get another turning force or apply turning force very briefly in a chime and that was for that curve there it almost seemed like it was because the camera, the front camera was facing the sun. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. So we're coming up to another pretty good curve. It's a left curve followed by a steep hill. And the autopilot does a phenomenal job like it's done on previous versions of this test as well. So great job by the autopilot team to recognize such a, a big bend in the road there and it's able to slow down for those type of curves, but some of the more sharper or sudden curves, it isn't able to identify. So this section of road is pretty easy for the autopilot, so we're gonna speed this up, and we are getting to a curve that causes us a quite a bit of issue because it does have an intersection within the curve. So here we go, we're approaching the curve, and it gets close to that right hand side, but it does a great job. Now let's take a look at that in slow-mo and it does stay within the lane, although it does get a little bit too close to on that right hand side, but I don't have to disengage. Our last test 14, we were following a car, so it's really easy for the autopilot to overcome that curve. No car to follow in test number 13. You can see it starts to dive over to the right hand side before I do have to disengage. Let me know down in the comment section if you like seeing those more challenging curves over multiple curvy country road tests. So here we have the camera washed out a bit from the sun glare, but the autopilot is still able to do a great job on that little curve there. And we get another warning for the curve or apply turning force where it wants you to put your hands on the wheel and apply a turning force. So that's now the third or fourth time I've gotten that just in this test. And that was also different than the last time because I wasn't facing the sun. And now we are coming up to a pretty severe blind right curve. And the autopilot system is maintaining its speed, although we are definitely in the curve right here. And it does not slow down at all and is able to successfully pass through that blind curve. Now we have a couple more curves coming up here and this left curve, the autopilot does maintain its speed only dropping down to 39 miles an hour before it goes back up to 40. And now we have another severe left curve where we need to slow down more, but it doesn't slow down until we are already through the curve. So here's another right curve here and it does not slow down again until we are in the curve or through the curve. And our last big turn coming up here at the top of the hill, the road is going to go severely to the left and let's see how it does. And we are getting close to that right hand side, but I don't have to disengage. So it does pass that last turn right there. So pretty impressive. It does get pretty close over to that white line over there but it is able to maintain the lane position. So test 14, it was pretty easy following a vehicle. Test 13, I did have to disengage and you can see the sun position in test 13, almost like we were driving into the sun versus this current test 15, the sun was at our back. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share this video with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always guys, I'll see you in the next one.